Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. We're talking about DMR, baby. I felt like I've had this conversation a million times over the years, and I, I finally got to make a video about it. I just have to say it because there is this massive misperception about DMR in amateur radio that just we need to correct it like now. If you've been a follower of mine for any amount of time, you know that I've been a long time DMR user. I've been on D-Star as well. I've used C4FM Wires X, uh, but DMR is my primary digital voice mode that I prefer. Uh, I've been in it since Connect Systems started bringing in the CS700 many years ago, uh, back before Brandmeister was even a thing. It wasn't even uh, wasn't even a thing yet. I've made a ton of videos on the Anytone 878, and now course uh, with a lot of the Motorola gear as well and there's one thing that I've heard over and over and over again and it's real simple that DMR is not real ham radio and it also is not real ham radio because it relies on the internet what if the internet goes down you can't use your DMR radio then ha 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 and every time I hear that, I'm like, this is so ridiculously a terrible argument. I just have to say something. And that's what this video is about. So let's shred that to bits, okay? Let's start with number one. If you have an analog machine, let's just say it's running a, a narrow audio signal, 12 and a half wide, and you put a DMR machine in its place, you're going to effectively double the capacity, the voice capacity of that machine because DMR uses two um, a TDMA time slots for voice, time slot one, time slot two. Each of those are six and a quarter wide. So you can have two conversations and two time slots on one single machine. So you can double the capacity of your analog machine in terms of voice traffic by just going to DMR. So that's a huge, huge, huge advantage, not to mention you're more efficiently using the spectrum. Uh, let's go with now number two. So the number two thing to keep in mind is that when you have DMR, uh, you also are increasing your battery life. Because as you're talking on DMR and transmitting, you're jumping between those two time slots, right? So you're not transmitting actually as long as you are on analog. And it's not like a five or 10% increase in battery life I'm talking about here. We're talking upwards of a 40% increase in the battery life of your HT. That's a massive, massive jump uh, and advantage in using an HT on a mode like DMR compared to analog. Number three, voice quality. Everyone's favorite topic. Now, some people don't like the sound of digital voice, and that's fine. I will say, it does take some getting used to. You have to kind of attune your ear to digital voice, and it just becomes a little bit less robotic over time. And in DMR, hotspots leave a lot of variability, uh, and people just not tuning their hotspots properly, not setting up their radio's audio properly. There's definitely some issues there. But the call quality or audio quality of DMR is vastly superior to analog. And that's because when you get on the fringe of coverage on an analog machine, what happens? You get static, you get noise, you get picketing, you get all this stuff, right? In DMR, you don't have any of that. You have something called forward error correction. That's an algorithm that runs with DMR to where when you start getting on the fringe, it'll make sure that when you, even if you're in a kind of a so-so area, it'll put those packets of data back together using an algorithm. And that way it keeps your audio nice, clean, and clear. So there is no static. There is no noise on the fringe of coverage. You're there one second and then blip. You're gone. That's how DMR works. Um, so that's a major advantage than having to sit there and crank up your volume and try to hear somebody that's you know got a lot of noise on their signal. So that's just all three things right there that, again, you don't have to internet link them at all to get any of those advantages over analog. You can set up a standalone DMR repeater in your town right now and have those advantages over analog. I mean, it's just... A massive improvement. So if you say that it's not real ham radio, it is. Um, is it better than analog? It is. Um, do I think that every repeater out there should be DMR? No. But for the folks that say it's not real ham radio because it relies on the internet, that's just wrong. Yes, it does have a ton of network support. That is one of the cool things about it. But we have those same things on analog. It's not unique to DMR. And it doesn't make it any less of ham radio. So what I say, DMR on, my friends. So is this thing put to bed? Are we done now? Is it over? Can we shut down the argument? Leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.